dating coach Dan back again. This is talk. Dating is dead in America. Uh, what? I teach my guys all the time how to run game. <laughs> and you should run game on all those chicks down there. See those girls right there? Yeah, bro. You know what you do is you go right up to them and you scare them and you just go, Wah! I'm a dating coach. <laughs> and watch how they completely take to you. You know what? I've been married for 30 years, but I know everything about dating. I know everything about the current dating marketplace. I'm so smart, dating coach Dan. <laughs> you see that girl right there? Right there. I'm going to teach you guys how to run a game on her, even though she has a boyfriend. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I've never been on a dating app ever before in my life, but I'm going to teach you guys how to swipe, 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 swipe until your finger falls off <laughs> to get these monetized. See these girls out here? See these girls? They've already got Instagram pages, but I don't know that because I'm an idiot. <laughs> dating coach Dan. You guys are still on that kick about going overseas. How dare you? How dare you? I'm going to teach you how to be better. And I'm going to tell you how to be on your purpose, even though I don't even know what that means. <laughs> See, I'm such a genius that I give you guys rules to abide by and follow, even though <laughs> American women aren't abiding by these rules or any of this crap at all. And they're after you because I'm so genius. And that's why my channel is failing miserably <laughs> as my wife cuts off my balls but i'm gonna keep shoveling crap to you guys because you're so gullible dating coach dan <laughs> legionnaires unite you don't deal with all this talk k-leaf <laughs> k-leaf looks concerned poor little k-leaf on her little bike flying around she probably just got dumped this always happens around that age when their K leaf in their K leaf likes life cycle, they get dumped, and then they start to get the thousand cock steer. Oh, I'm damaged goods. Oh, oh, now I'm gonna start painting my body with tattoos all over and put piercings through my eyeballs. I need to feel again. Oh. And then the really sad part is, if you really want to know, they start like. Uh, harming themselves in uh i can't really say it on youtube because it's uh yeah it's a little intense but you can look it up sad stuff but dating is dead this is gonna be a good topic today donkey punch the like freaking button finger the subscribe button comment in the comment section share this mother effing video we got a lot of new people on here and so i've got to throw out a little bit of philosophy and disclaimers so you guys understand what's going on. American dating is dead. It's been dead for years. And if you're new to this channel and new to this sphere, and I'm not going to talk about that certain sphere. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm not even going to. The Wanosphere. <laughs> no, guys, I'm an entertainer. But I do like to bring a little education, a little bit of relief for guys. It's very important because we don't have a lot of outlets. So we do it over here. Topic today is... Why I don't get, give dating advice? And essentially, dating just doesn't have any rules at all. It doesn't. And to say that it does is kind of, is really, really naive. If you're still playing by the rule book and dating coaches and all this other nonsense and, you know, hookups and here's what you do and you do this, and, guys, those days are long gone. Anybody who prescribes to that fails 90, 99% of the time. And the reason for this is because the dating marketplace itself is a farce. Okay? And that's where we're going today. Dating in its very essence is just akin to a Hooker John relationship. All right? You're paying for her time and you're trying to see if you can get some, you know, relief. That's pretty much it. And anybody who doesn't understand it, this is kind of naive. It's really naive. So, and there's a lot of these channels that talk about, here's what you need to do. You need to up your game and do all this other nonsense. And of course, it's all to get you back into that mindset of you need to impress them. You need to kiss their asses. You need to do all these things in the West to get yourself, you know what. Well, at the end of the day, guys, that's all BS. 
And over here, we're about reality. We're about bringing you back to reality. Reality full of little Kayleys. Like so. Pretty little Kayleys with their moms. <coughs> and here she looks. She's looking at me. She is happy. But over here, guys, we don't believe in dating. And by the way, it's dead anyway. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter anyway. Guys, you're going to learn the hard way. That there is no such thing as dating. So, and by the way, hookup culture is dying too as well. All that stuff is on its way out. Because, and here's the biggest reason. Because women have already monetized themselves. They're already completely monetized, guys. They're selling literally their bodily functions in jars. Okay? You've got them acting like NPCs and getting paid for it. Guys, the day, they've invaded all our spaces already. And then they monetize themselves through some sort of sexuality. Oh boy, this Kayleaf is definitely my type. She'd be my type, guys. We'll get to it in a minute. But yeah, to even believe that any of this stuff still, ex still exists is pretty naive, right? And that's why this channel exists. Because we know what we're doing. And we've been doing this type of stuff for a long time. I've been doing this for over a year. You know, just getting it completely going and getting you guys in the right mindset. It's very important. I'm trying to sneak in the video, huh? <laughs> She's my type. She'd be my type. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, first of all, the whole dating marketplace farce. Number two. Women are already monetized. Number three, there are no rules to any of this crap. Zero percent. There's no rules, guys. Should I go back up? Maybe I'll go all, all the way up. Ah, but I don't want to go. I'll go around. My legs are a little sore. Maybe I won't. Now, you know what? Let's just keep going. Unfiltered, unkit. <laughs> yeah, but there are no rules, gentlemen. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Things used to be much more simple. People used to know what to do. They used to know exactly how things went. And I'm not even talking about going out on dates. Guys, there was no such thing as dates 50 years ago. This is a very, very new phenomenon. Okay? Hey, Kayleafs. Tons of Kayleafs out today. I told you guys, Kayleafs only come out when it's hot. They bounce around. <laughs> they do little cartwheels. They make little noises and they start popcorning. But yeah. The whole phenomenon of sitting down and having dinner with somebody and taking them out is actually a very, very relatively new concept. In fact, it used to be illegal. And that's part of the reason why the, uh, the, uh, the Andrew T's of the world are getting into all sorts of hot water, but I digress. The bottom line is the whole landscape itself has no rules. It used to have some loose rules, right? But as you guys can see, you are constricted if you do go out. In fact, you're at a massive handicap. There's really no point in you going out and paying for anything at this point in time. Meaning sitting down, physical meal, drinks. Guys, those days are over. That was the hookup culture back in the early 2000s. And of course, the dating coaches are still clinging to this and telling you to approach and run game and do all this stupid stuff. Guys, those days are over. Those are long gone. Because you can catch a case just like that. Things can get pretty intense pretty quickly. Women can essentially take away consent, retract consent at any moment these days. It's a mess, guys. It is an absolute cluster F. So to even think that dating is ever going to come back, you're kind of a fool. In fact, you're really a fool. You have no idea what you're talking about. Because what a lot of you guys don't understand is there was no such thing as dating, as I've previously discussed. But what it was before is men and women, essentially, would go through a courting phase. You had a girlfriend, and then you got married. And that was it. Now, those days are very, very long gone. And those aren't coming back for at least at least three generations, if that. That's if the laws come full circle, which is going to take a long period of time. 
And when that time comes, you're going to see a very, very uh, stark divide between the monetized women and the ones that are not. And what a lot of you guys have never experienced is a very clear definition. One side is completely monetized and one side is not. For example, when I went to Hong Kong, it was very clear who was monetized. It was very clear. In fact, escorts, all that type of stuff is legal over there, right? So those girls dressed a very specific way, like the girls in the United States. <laughs> and so it was very clear who wanted, you know, to, for you to pay for their monetization, essentially, and the ones who did not. In fact, I went out with a couple Chinese women, Cantonese, who didn't want me to pay for any of their meals. In fact, they took me out and they paid for me. Now, why? Because they don't believe in dating. Do you understand? There is no dating. There's no courting. In fact, they made it abundantly clear. I, you aren't paying for anything for me because we are not together. Do you see what I'm saying? There is no exchange of vows. It's that different over there, guys. Now, of course, a bunch of these knuckleheads in China are trying to get the dating scene going, but that's going to conflict with the old school Chinese tradition, right? It's going to be pretty well segregated. A lot of guys are freaking out, you know, these conservative countries are going to become liberal. Guys, every country goes through liberal times, but that's irrelevant. Conservative families stand the test of time. No matter which way you slice it, liberal people do not procreate. This happens all the time throughout history. In fact, here's a perfect example, the Middle East. I bet you guys didn't know this, but a lot of Middle Eastern countries used to be very li uh, liberal. Women didn't wear hijabs. You can look this up. They would dress very pro provocatively. Prostitution was legal. It, guys, you can look it up. It's pure history. But the point in now, Middle East is back to conservative times. You see what I'm saying, guys? Every society goes through these... these uh, what's it called? Conservative and liberal, liberal times. Now, of course, the more liberal they get, the more weak they get, right? The more conservative they get, the stronger they, the, um, the whole society is, which is trippy. It's interesting. But as far as dating in the West goes, oh no, guys, it's too far gone. Women have completely monetized their bodies, their bodily functions. It, it, it's, it's, guys, it's a mess. And that's not, that type of behavior is going to, you guys think that women operate in this kind of very specific void. No, they don't guys. They're, they're of the hive mind. They have no leader. So they follow each other, right? So if one girl is making money off of selling her bodily functions, another girl's going to do it for sure. 150%. And the worst part of it all is most American men are, men are extraordinarily weak. So they're not going to fight back. And the laws as well. The laws do not support actual marriages, families in this country at all. And guys, you've got people debating <laughs> the definition of a definition. I mean, come on, man. It's over, guys. Everybody's trying to redefine everything. It's over. There's no structure. Everything's being de, de uh, what do they call it? Decentralized, uh, deconstructed. It's too late. The structure of our society is going to lilt, and it will come back, but it's just not going to be as strong. But as far as dating goes, nah. Those times are over. <laughs> it's pretty funny, and it's just part of society, guys. It's part of. It's part of the game. That's just how it goes. So to all you guys that really didn't get an opportunity to experience all the hookup culture and the fun and all that stuff, you got nothing to worry about. You're going to have plenty coming your way, son. You are going to be very happy. Yeah, the dating coaches and the game guys, they want you to abide by rules. And by the way, society is going to slap those rules on you faster than your head can spin. So fast your head will spin. <laughs> It's been a long day, but, and there's nothing you can really do about it. You're going to have to wait. Now, do you really want to wait that long to be able to be with a woman? No, you don't. So you're going to go 
foreign traditional. You're going to go traditional foreign, where things are very well structured. You go to Thailand, you know if she's a working girl or not. Now, by the way, to all you knuckleheads that go overseas and try to wife up a liberal foreign woman, you're an idiot. You get a girl with tattoos and body. Are you stupid? You go to a bar. Dude, guys, you're, you're playing the exact same game as the Western ladies. And you're going to find out the hard way. It's going to be brutal. <sighs> when you go overseas, it's a different ball game. Okay? Traditional foreign, and that's the only way. You know what I mean? Or you can try to wipe that up right there. Now, of course, you guys are, some of you guys are really thirsty. And you're going to be like, <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, man, I'll wipe that up in a second. No, you won't, son. No, you won't. You want to know why? Because that is a thought. No matter which way you select. Guys, to all my legionnaires, how many of you have been overseas? How many of you have actually met a traditional foreign woman in your entire, a traditional woman, period? Most guys have not. Most guys have no idea what that is. Hooking up with a woman is completely different than actually getting into a relationship or marrying. You can't have it both ways, guys. How are you going to be liberal one minute and then conservative the next? How does that work? Exactly, it doesn't. That's what the West keeps trying to do. Well, we'll be liberal sometimes and we'll be conservative sometimes. It doesn't work, guys. Those days are long gone. <sighs> Well, sometimes we're going to, uh, she's going to lead and sometimes I'm going to, those, that doesn't work, son. You cannot socially engineer biology, unfortunately. So you guys can keep banging your heads up against the wall and keep dating. Or you can get your act together and get your head out of your ass. Because you guys are really barking up the wrong tree. Yikes. <laughs> you still got guys to this day going out on dates. You still have guys to this day getting married, getting thrown. There was this guy on TikTok. He gets thrown out of his own house because his wife uh, essentially set up. She alleged that he was ab one, two, three, four, abusive. Okay. She alleged that and he got kicked out. Now, of course, you always have some idiot online some fake phony alpha bro who says oh bro it was all your fault bro and there were things that you did that made her what what are you even saying are you an idiot that means absolutely nothing <laughs> what does that have to do with anything the laws don't care you idiots i don't care how much oh let's hold masculine frame you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go up to the girl right now right there she does little kaylee's See those little you see the little kay leaves right there laying down? I'm gonna go up to it and go, oh ask her friend. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna kinda cock my shoulder up to the left. Alright, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. This guy thinks I'm crazy. Uh, I'm gonna hold ask her friend. The rest of the street. You guys are effing you guys are so stupid. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You start walking around like the Terminator. <laughs> you, 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 these Kayleys are laughing and they're looking at me. They're so <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Maybe he's paying attention to us. Can you guys see them out there? I don't think you can see the little Kayleys. They're all laying down. Guys, Kayleys, they lay down. Here's what Kayleys do. They come out when it's hot. That's when Kayleys thrive, which is the exact opposite for me. It like drains my energy. Guys, I'm a white guy. White guys do very well in snow. We love snow. We like the cold. It's like energizing, not this heat. <laughs> it just destroy, it destroys my energy. It saps me of my, uh, <laughs> my willpower. Anyway, this is funny because Kayleafs are like doing cartwheels and backflips. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting drained. But I do it for you guys. That's why I do it. I do it for you. Anyway. Oh. Freaking game, guys. Let's be the Terminator. <laughs> Holding mask on frame. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Every time you go overseas, you don't have to hold any frame at all. 
it's like the most pleasant experience. You know, it's funny. I'm flying on my way to China. I'm flying in this uh, big ass Airbus and this little Chinese nugget. It's a little Chinese nugget. She could barely speak English. I could barely speak Chinese. And she was so sweet because I was trying to figure out how to work the little, the little, uh, what is it? Uh, the DVD player, whatever the, no, it was playing all the, I don't know, the in-flight movies, right? I was trying to figure, it was kind of weird contraption and she was trying to help me. And she was so cute because I could tell she was interested. But of course, guys, once again, it's a different mindset. There's no dating involved. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, man, K-Leafs. Because, geez, Louise, a couple of those K-Leafs are definitely my type. I'm like, I told you guys, K-Leafs everywhere. It's like 50 K-Leafs. <laughs> you know what we're doing? We're getting sun. Sun feels good. Meanwhile, I'm like, dying. <laughs> K-Leafs cannot handle cold, guys. Little K-Leafs, they have a lot of trouble with, this, with like really cold. They hate it. In fact, women just overall, they have like iron, if I'm not mistaken, lower iron levels than men. And it just, they get cold super easily. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, these idiot dating coaches are trying to give you rules and things to abide by when there are no rules. And you guys are being taken advantage of left and right. And it sucks. It's really sad. I saw this guy on TikTok and he was just, he was just pathetic. Okay. He'd been talking to some chick online for like two weeks. He comes with flowers. She doesn't even show up. And it's just sad, guys, because they give you all these rules. They tell you you need to be in love and all this other nonsense. And you need to bring flowers. Oh, little K-leaves. Actually, those are K-leaves. They're a little older. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lifeguards having fun. But uh, it's just not worth it, gentlemen. That poor guy. Just complete confusion. I need to be I need to be in love, and who? When do I find my person? Guys, they keep giving you these rules that you keep falling for, and men fall for it very easily. They get that carrot dangled in front of them, and it's just a mess. So, what's the solution, you guys? Ask for all you guys that are still trying to figure everything out, gentlemen. Men living their purpose is the most important thing you could ever do. All the other stuff falls into place after that. Everything. All of it. Women do not come first, guys. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> they come last. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah. You got to put yourself first, guys. And I know that's a hard for a lot of you to do because you're not used to it. Oh, little Kaylee's waving at me. Hi, Kaylee. Oh, hi. What the hell are you waving at me for? Do I know? Do I know these little Kayleys? I don't know. Let me see. I think I know them. Maybe I don't. Freaking waving at me. <laughs> okay, Kaylee. Okay. Do I know her? I don't know. I might. I could. It's very, very... Very likely. <laughs> sometimes, guys, sometimes Kaylee's just come up to you. Hi. <laughs> are you are you a YouTuber? Can I be in your stream? They're very polite. Usually I'll say yes. If they're polite, yeah. If they've got an attitude, hell no. But Kaylee's very rarely, guys. Kaylee's just aren't uh they're not wired that way. But yeah, guys, this is the reason why I don't give dating advice at all. And by the way, I could. <laughs> because, guys, I have a PhD in American women. Don't do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Don't do this. But again, we're going right back to the plantation where you guys are going to fail. And then what I can do is blame it on you. Oh, you didn't hold masculine frame. You weren't tough enough. You see how it's all the same shaming tactics. Oh, you, you just don't get no... Son, if you are saying that, you're a woman. Any man who tries to shame another guy for not going to the plantation is a woman. Period. End of story. Andy's an idiot. It's not very bright. In fact, you guys are going to be kind of shocked, but if you're a virgin, if you don't have any experience with women and you're a guy... 
I actually commend you, and you should keep it that way. Because you're avoiding a lot, a lot of red flags and a lot of drama that's going to ruin your life. And here's the best part. Most of you guys are on that site. 63% of men are already saying sayonara. They're already walking away. The majority of men are walking. Guys, it is, that is the most telling sign of all. The dating is dead. I mean, men have never walked away like this before. Ever. Oh, there's a K-Leaf over there. It's sad, but it's also, it's not surprising. I mean, I really don't blame guys for walking away. It's intense, guys. It is intense. I mean, we're never really going to truly recover from this. Guys have already said I've had enough. I don't blame them. You know, so we're going to see how it goes, but it's going to be, it's going to be rough for a while. It is going to be rough. You better, you better, <laughs> you better hold on to your butts because it is going to be intense. But yeah, what's the point? What is the point of me manipulating you guys, making a quick buck, and you're right back where you started? There's no point. And by the way, guys, here's the funniest part of all this. I wasted all my 20s and a part of my early 30s dating. What a waste of time. For real. It was all, guys, it wasn't just a waste of time sometimes. It was pretty much almost 100% waste of time. And you're probably wondering why. Well, because, gentlemen, no matter how many nuts you get, no matter how many times you complete the action, no matter how much fun you're having, it's still never enough. Hey, Kaylee's. Kaylee's out there. It's never enough, gentlemen. Now, what do I mean by that? How are you going to settle down? Most guys at the end of the day want to settle down. They want to have families. They want to have children. What do you think? You're going to get a girlfriend from some girl who's been ran through her whole life, who's had an unbelievable amount of bodies, who has tattoos, piercings. You guys think that's going to work in the long run? You're wrong. How often do you see these people making it till the end? Not often, guys. The last time I saw somebody stay together was my grandparents. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but this is just the reality of things, gentlemen. So, you can keep playing around in the sewer trying to find a diamond like all these idiots keep telling you to you know what's so funny is the moment you step away is the moment you start to save money you stop being manipulated because here's the thing this whole industry the dating industry quote unquote makes so much money off of you and your misery and your suffering they make all the money and you get nothing and by the way so what you hooked up so what? You got a kind of skanky girlfriend. Wow. Let's say you keep doing all the right things. Guys, you're still beholden to the laws of the West. You're still beholden to your little emotional tyrant, your little mini tyrant. You are still... Subs Guys, I don't care how... To all my legionnaires out there, I know you guys know better, but you got a lot of these fake phony alpha bros who thump their chest. I don't care how alpha you are, son. You got the heavyweight champion of the UFC, the baddest man on the planet, telling me about his man cave. Okay, the game is over. And the reason why men in the West are so subservient is because they know they have no power. As soon as you get into a relationship in the West... As soon as you play the game, Mr. Game Guy, as soon as you go out on dates and you start getting dressed up, you are the subservient one. You are the submissive. You are being dominated. And I, don't, I know you don't want to hear it, and you're going to get mad, and you're going to start shaming like a woman, because you are. Because most game guys are very feminine. They're just charged full of testosterone and estrogen. It's weird. It's a weird combination, but essentially... You're being dominated by society and you're being dominated by women. 
It's just how it goes, guys. That wasn't always this way, but it is right now. You are not in the driver's seat. That's what's so funny. These guys keep telling you guys to, you know, act aloof, appear masculine and do all this stuff because what they're trying to do is get you the power temporarily. I know where they're coming from. I've got more experience with American women than probably every dating coach combined. That's the scary part. Well, there's probably like one or two of them that might have a little bit more because these guys are just freaks. Their whole lives are just women. But the vast majority of them are just dorks, nerds, cashing in on this, cashing in on your insecurities. Yeah, guys, it's sad. The more insecurities you have, the more they've got you by the... Unit. Guys, I walk around with this effing sun hat, my crazy... You know, I got my freaking crazy shoes on. Well, can you guys see that down there? I don't know if you guys can see all that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm getting in shape. Stomach's almost flat. It's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. <laughs> I got my crazy wild shoe. Wait, here. Let's see if you guys can see. Can you guys see that? That's my entire. I look like a, a, a total, total. I just look like I'm going to the gym. Like a goofy guy going to the gym. And guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mr. Run Game and Cologne and, you know, shave and do all that. You are just going straight back to the plantation. And you, my friend, are a Western woman. You're the exact same as them. Because guess what? When I went overseas in this goofy getup, and guess what? I had little Asian nuggets coming up to me, no problem. And it's not like they couldn't get Asian men. That's what you guys don't understand. You don't understand that your insecurities are your biggest impediment. Going back to dating is your biggest weakness. That's where you're weak. And that's just facts, period. You don't like my sunglasses? Bye. You don't like my compression shirt? Bye. You don't like that I'm not, I don't have a complete six pack yet. I'm doing it because to be honest with you guys, I just want to get back to it because I did it before in my life. It would be pretty badass. You know what I mean? Just to not have high body fat. Is it sustainable? Nah, not really. But as far as attracting, oh, you need to attract guys. You don't need to do a goddamn thing. I know this is going to be very controversial, but you don't even need to work towards being high value in none of this crap. As you get more traditional foreign women, as you go overseas and you understand that you are a catch, even if you're short, bald, fat, ugly, doesn't matter, even just average, doesn't matter, you're going to crap your pants. And you're going to realize that they just want a good guy, a normal guy, not a six foot seven Chad. I'll never forget. <laughs> When I was in Mexico, <laughs> when I was in Mexico, and I was talking to little Latinas, and they said, "Oh, you're gonna cheat on me. You're too, ha you're too handsome. You need to be uglies." <laughs> That's what they would tell me. It was just funny, guys. Now, of course, you will get a certain sect of liberal foreign women if you are a Chad or a Tyrone or something to that effect. But traditional foreign women are not even going to bother with you. They're going to be like, "Nah, no, 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 no." And they're, here's the funny part. Even if you get past them, the parents are going to say hell no. And if the parents say hell no, you're out. Do you see what I'm saying? So you really, if you are, like, let's just say you're six foot plus, make a ton of money, good looking. Guys, you got to tone it down big time. You really got to come with some hum with humility to a traditional foreign woman. I'm not even exaggerating. Because <laughs> their parents are going to give you the side eye like, oh, this guy can upgrade literally you know what I mean? He can pretty much get any woman he wants. Why is he going after my daughter? You, you see what I'm saying? The skepticism is there. Because the family comes first, guys. I know you're not used to this. Oh, yeah. You're definitely courting her. It's just a different mentality. But if you're a good-looking guy and you got all the six sisters and all this other nonsense and you do go after a traditional foreign woman... Guys, again, you're just, it's going to be okay. 
you just really have to make sure that your intentions are true. It's it's a whole courting phase that a lot of you guys are not used to. It's conservative behavior. Guys, there is no lib liberal behavior is literally completely separated to a specific street. Like, for example, if you're a Westerner and you want West Western style Chinese girls, you have to go to a specific street. I'm not making this up. Okay, that's how segregated it is. You know, if they're dressed provocatively like this, yeah, guys, this is considered provocative over there. Parents would never let their daughters go out looking like that, ever. In fact, the parents won't let their daughters date at all until they find a suitable husband. That is it. It's that strict. My nose. I wasn't doing anything, I promise. <laughs> They're that strict, guys. The parents overseas are so strict. So... You've got plenty of alternatives. Guys, you do not need to be in the cesspool. You don't have to do it. Now, if you're that insecure that you need to stay here, hey, have at it. But the majority of us have already found out where you settle down, where you have a family. You could be with a liberal foreign woman if you want, but she's going to be exact same as an American woman. Maybe she'll know how to cook and stuff, but... And she will be shunned by... Here's what's really funny. Liberal foreign women are shunned by their society. They're looked down upon. They are shamed. I'll never forget. There was this Chinese girl who was a sugar baby. Why is my nose so itchy? And these... And the wife... Or whatever. the girl, I don't remember. Wife or girlfriend... Was really pissed... That this girl was with her man for whatever reason i can't remember but anyway they pu they pulled her out onto the sidewalk and they started beating the crap out of her i was like whoa <laughs> her and her friends were just like laying into her guys it's very shameful to be seen as a side piece guys it is not you are you are low i mean you're really low on the totem pole they definitely have a pecking order over there. It's very clear. Guys, there's no confusion. There's no games. It's very clear where you will stand on the totem pole. And that's another reason why dating is dead. There are no rules. There's no pecking order. It's just for free-for-all. Anything goes. And you already know when there's no rules, it's just chaos. <sighs> yeah, guys. So protect yourselves. When you want to settle down, you get yourself a traditional foreign woman. You donkey punch that freaking like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Say hello to a little Kaylee. Share, <laughs> share this mother effing video. Oh, there's a little ling ling up there. Oh, it's a little. Hmm. I have to go say hello and run game. But if you're a new subscriber, definitely appreciate you. And uh, we appreciate any support on this channel. Super thanks. I might have to start doing live streams again so we can start getting super chats going. It'll be a hell, hell of a lot of fun. And then when we start streaming overseas, you guys are going to love it. Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you. So let's get to it. <laughs>